Good morning students. Today we are going to see an important problem in chemistry. Now we see the problem. A compound on analysis gave sodium 14.31 percentage, sulfur 9.97 percentage, hydrogen 6.22 percentage, oxygen 69.5 percentage. Calculate the molecular mass of the compound if all the hydrogen in the compound is present in combination with oxygen as water of crystallization. Molecular mass of the compound is 322. Okay. This question was asked in the plus one public exam chemistry paper in the year of 2023 in Tamil Nadu. Now we are going to see the solution. Now open a table column. You can see elements, percentage, relative number of moles, then simplest ratio, then whole number. First of all, we are going to take the elements. There are four elements are given in the sum. They are sodium, sulfur, hydrogen, oxygen. Okay, this is the first row. Then in the second row, we are going to write the percentage of the elements. Sodium 14.31, sulfur 9.97, hydrogen 6.22, oxygen 16.5 percentage. Okay. Then in the third column, we are going to see the relative number of moles. Relative number of moles is equal to percentage of the elements divided by atomic mass. Relative number of moles of sodium is equal to 14.31 percentage of sodium divided by atomic mass equal to 23. That is equal to 0 0.622. Then relative number of moles of sulfur that is equal to percentage 9.97 divided by atomic mass 32. It is equal to 0 0.311. Then relative number of moles of hydrogen that is equal to percentage 6.22 divided by atomic mass 1 that is equal to 6.22. Then relative number of moles of oxygen is equal to 69.5 that is the percentage divided by atomic mass 16 that is equal to 4.34. Now we get the relative number of moles of all the elements. Then simplest ratio. Simplest ratio is given by the formula mole divided by the smallest mole. Now we have the moles of sodium, sulfur, hydrogen, oxygen. Among the four, the smallest one is the number of moles of sulfur that is equal to 0 0.311. Therefore, all other mole values are divided by the number of moles of sulfur. Then, simplest ratio of sodium, okay, that is equal to 0 0.6 then divided by the 0 0.311 that is equal to 2. Simplest ratio of sulfur that is equal to 0 0.311 divided by 0 0.311 that is also equal to 1. The simplest ratio of hydrogen is equal to 6.22 divided by 0 0.311 that is equal to 20. Simplest ratio of oxygen that is equal to 4.34 divided by 0 0.311. Therefore, the smallest mole number value 0 0.311 is divided by the, the mole number of the all other compounds. Then you get the simplest ratio. Then we are going to 
convert the whole number, the fifth column. Here, simplest ratio of sodium is equal to 2. Okay. Simplest ratio of sulfur is equal to 1. Okay, 1. Simplest ratio of hydrogen is equal to 20, 20. Simplest ratio of oxygen that is equal to 14, 14. So now we will write the empirical formula of the given compound that is equal to number of sodium is equal to 2, Na2. Number of sulfur is equal to 1, S1. Number of hydrogen is equal to 20, H20. Number of oxygen equal to 14. But in the compound, they are giving that in this compound, all hydrogen in the compound is present in combination with the oxygen as water of crystallization. Therefore, here number of hydrogen is equal to 20. Okay, for each water molecule, there is a two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen. The formula becomes a Na2SO4 dot 10H2O. It is nothing but sodium sulfate decahydrate. Now we are going to call it the embryical molar mass. Here this compound contains a two sodium atom, two in DNA plus one sulfur, one into sulfur plus 20 hydrogen, 20 into hydrogen plus 14 to oxygen, 14 to oxygen. Now, empirical molar mass is equal to 2 into 23, 1 into 32, plus 20 into 1, plus 14 into 16. That is equal to 46, 32, 20, plus 2, 24. That is equal to 3, 2, 2. Therefore, molar mass of the compound is equal to 3, 2, 2. Now, we are going to find out the n value N value is given by the formula molar mass divided by the empirical molar mass. Therefore, N value is equal to here they give the molar mass of the compound 3 to 2 divided by the empirical molar mass is also equal to 3 to 2. Therefore, 3 to 2 divided by 3 to 2 that is equal to 1. Now, we are going to find out the formula. Formula is equal to empirical formula into N times. Therefore, we are already find out the empirical formula that is Na2SO4 dot 10 h 2 into N is equal to 1. We find out. Okay? 1. Then the whole value is multiplied by the 1. It becomes a Na2SO4 dot 10 h 2 This is nothing but sodium sulfate decahydrate. This is the compound given in the this sum. Okay, student? Watch the video, use the video. Thank you.